Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and, uh... Spent a bit there running around in the, uh, the subway and mostly finding scraps that I didn't find the first time. But I did at least find a new word of power. So there is that. I did think I was going to spend this video. Back over there with, uh, Saga. So we can see if we can figure out that really weird cult stash she found last time. Good old glitchy crossbow. Oh. Oh, the gun, yes. Uh, while we're standing here, shout out to Torek00, who says, So I remember I had a theory about the manuscript pages, and I had it backwards. I thought the typed portions were Alan's original story, and the handwritten portions were Mr. Scratch's sinister edits. After all, the typed portions were scratched out. But it was the other way around. Oh, I get it. Scratched out. I didn't actually pick up the emphasis there. But it was the other way around. Scratched was the typed original. Alan was the handwritten edits. So I guess good job, writers, for having me fooled right up until it got spelled out on screen. Yeah, yeah, I do remember... That was something I had been, uh... Pondering basically the entire time I was playing the game. Who wrote which story? Because I knew one of them was Scratch, and one of them was, uh, Alan, but... They were both kind of horrible, to be perfectly honest. And honestly, seeing that Alan wrote Initiation, so he's the one responsible for, well, himself getting shot in the face, uh, being chased around by the Dark Presence, maybe even being killed a few times and having that woven into the narrative. You never know. Or I am found at a rental cabin in Cauldron Lake. Is that the top one? No. This one. In the rhyme, the hero was aided by two crows. They shared the reward together. Okay, let's see here. Oh, no, no, don't body check the door. Last thing I need is drawing a ton of it. Oh, fuck. Oh, yes, sorry, I forgot which cabin this was. Let's just close this door since there's no reason to go out there. Oh, I can just look at the thing here. Yes. This is what I needed to uh, check out. Thanks for zooming in all the way over there. Um, the fuck was up with that? Four... Boxes. Kind of like the Windows logo. To a tornado. To a castle with a three. To going under a bridge. I, I don't understand the starting point. That's the problem here. It's not the ranger station stash key, certainly. Bolt cutters! No. Wait, is that mirror peak in the middle? I assumed that uh, uh, shaded bit was a cave, but... No, what am I supposed to do with, uh... Go out the back door of the castle, huh? I don't know about the window and the tornado, but I did seem to find the castle and the, uh... The bridge, so to speak. Spoilers, it's all metaphor. Right, yes. It is weird, the, the bit there, his hair was longer than I remembered. Given that Alan really does look different than he did when uh, Rose last saw him in person. Is this three here? This might be three. Yes, this is three. I don't know about the tornado. I really, really don't. Wait! There's a swing set. Is there a... 
a fucking merry-go-round. Is this really a merry-go-round, or is it... Is this designed to spin, or... Is this just weirdly shaped benches? No. Oh. Yeah, I guess the beer being on top is their indicator that I can't open that. Four squares. Four square is an actual game. window. I'm assuming it really does spin. Tornado. No, uh, it's no, it's two. My bad. Castle with a three on it. Let's go out the back door. Bridge that I go under, not over. Now I need to go past a cave, a tower. Oh my god, I bet the skeleton is that rusted out old car. I heard a twig snap, and I don't love that. Okay, uh, go past something that looks like a cave, a tower, a skeleton, and find the tree. Is that the cave? Is that... Mm. Oh yes, these guys were here. What's my ammo look like? It sucks. But, uh, I'll make do. We'll use this and get one of them down in a hurry. I wonder if I can shoot them through the fucking window. You were supposed to die. Caught him right in the back of the fucking head with a crossbow bolt, and he didn't have the decency to die. God damn it! You're pissing me off now, buddy! Fuck me! Oh, hell! I hear a big one. The trap! Oh, geez, oh shit! This particular speedy guy is just non-stop racing around and standing next to me. It's very odd. We will watch it eat your mind? Alan, what the fuck? Let's stagger that. Read about it. No. My organs. I need those. You can tell I fucked up as the audio is skipping in and out. That weren't supposed to happen. Back up, back up. If I can kill these guys, I'm pretty sure I can get this. Of course, of course it's all a fucking metaphor. It was a map designed by children. We'll need to encrypt this so our enemies can't figure out where our treasure is. Because that's the impression I get. Like, the cult had some... Hey, kids! How'd you like to design a treasure map for us? There being a cult symbol just randomly lying here on the ground uh, does remind me of a comment I saw. I can't remember if I ever read this, because uh, it was actually left a while back. Shout out to Rachel Starwin, who says, I wonder if the cultist logo is going to be like the bad wolf graffiti from Doctor Who. Less of a threat, and more of a message directing you where you need to be. Oh, yes! <laughs> and uh, shout out to Torix00, who left this comment. And I don't have it on me right now, but I am a cultist. This is my shotgun. Because I made a vow of secrecy, I cannot describe any of my actions. 
because I made a vow of secrecy, I cannot describe any of my actions. I'm sick of these stupid puzzles. Ilmo can go straight to hell. <laughs> Read those in the opposite order, but hey, they were relevant at the time, so that's fine. Okay, yes, the tornado is probably the spinny thing over there. So this is the castle, that's the bridge. Up next is the cave. Well, no, up next is I kill these motherfuckers. They're not here. He passed by a cold cave, a tower, a skeleton, and the tree. Oh, right, yes, the chair there. Surely they don't mean the only open fridge we've encountered is the cold cave. And the tower is probably this gazebo. Skeleton is probably this. I don't see it. I don't literally see a two. Wait. Oh, there's there's a four in light paint on this uh, tree. Oh, I thought that was like an axe jabbed into it, but no, it's just a branch. <laughs> Four, six, two. Oh, oh, a prompt. Right here at the roots of the tree. What is that? Lake cabin's stash key. Oh, that feels good. Again, just like Alan, I can't get back there in a straight line. Fucking treasure map. I guess the idea was you start from the back window of the house that you found the thing in the first time. You gotta go interpreting stuff. It does feel a bit weak that the cave seemed to be a refrigerator with the doors open. I was wondering if there's going to be an old-fashioned cold storage room, but none of these places seem to have basements. Lake Cabin's Stash Key. Key to the cult stash at the cabins in Cauldron Lake. Fuck yes. Okay, this one was actually pretty fun. Much better than the math tests. <laughs> I like that. And we got some rifle ammo, a flashbang, and some flares. That felt good. Rhyme found at a rental cabin at Cauldron Lake. In... Th Rhyme. Didn't 
I just do that? That's strange. I didn't even think of that because it was also in the cabin. Oops. Cult stashes. Here it is. Stash found at the uh, Cauldron Lake rental house. This was just sitting in a random bathroom. Pretty random. I'm going to make sure to get a screenshot of that one so I can send it to my brother. And then send him the bit about how it was much better than the math ones. Ah, uh, well. It doesn't let me press A anymore. That's fine. I'll just have to go ahead and, uh... Grab a frame from the video. It's no big deal. So, yes, I guess that's the rental cabins. There's a door I just can't open because it's the one with the tree, not the tree, the uh, chair on it. Manuscript page? How the fuck did I miss that? Private cabin over by the Witchfinder's station. Well, I'll just fast travel over it there. I'll stash over there by the murder site, huh? I don't remember that either. Okay. I guess I'll go for the one by the murder site first, because it's technically closer. So I guess if I'm going there, I should probably go this way. <coughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, shit, there he is. No, he's not. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, right, yeah. Oh, the, the, the dust he kicks up looks really nice. Turns out having a giant hole blown through your goddamn chest makes you flinch for long enough for me to line it up with your head. Oh, I did notice I was, uh... I thought I needed to reload this. No, then I died, that's right. Where the fuck am I? Oh, yes. And there should be a break in the... Oh, that's right. I believe it was Torek00 who pointed it out that immediately after they showed me this hole, I get back to Bright Falls and found the, uh, fuck the police, we've got bolt cutters, uh, ad. Uh, yes. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it, I'll do this and then walk over to the witch's hut, I guess. Just noting it's the uh, the end of the session and uh Well, worst case scenario I'll film another intro uh for next time. That always works out pretty well. Oh shit, I totally forgot to do a thing. I noticed something weird when I was, uh, not even when I was going over the footage last time, when I had finished editing, and I was, you know, checking on my work. Because, uh, y'all remember this? Do not let the Taken Diver get close to you. They are always looking for opportunities to grab you. Well, uh... 
I noticed going over that clip this time that you can see a humanoid shape walking straight towards you in the middle of the screen as I'm reading that part out. Like specifically pay attention around the time I'm actually saying the word diver. In fact, here's that clip again. Do not let the taken diver get close to you. They are always looking for opportunities to grab you. So, uh, that's unsettling, and I don't like that very much. Oh, it's the sunlight. Yes, here's the murder site. I don't actually remember finding a cult stash near the murder site. You think that would stand out? On the plus side, it's right fucking there, so it might actually be uh, you know, easier than the ones we've been dealing with because you were supposed to find it ages ago. Can I duck under this police tape? Oh, I'm sorry, it's Sheriff's Tape, apparently. There it is. Another one of those cult boxes. Confused? Follow the steps. Wash hands. Shake Take chicken out of fridge. Take a nap. Wash hands. Oh, no, wash your hands in the actual paper. In fact, they left out the word the in the actual steps when they transcribed it there. Wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, and take a nap. Okay. Wait, I need to see something. It's fucking symbols again. So I'm guessing... I actually think I can get this very fairly quickly. Wash your hands. I need to find a sink. Did I not go in here at all? I didn't even know there was a fucking cabin here. Well, I can pet this deer, so that suggests that I haven't been here. What? Let's press A. Hello, dear. One remaining. their goddamn tarp on the wall. I'm glad I circled around to that. I wonder if there would have been any dialogue here if I discovered this during the murder. Or maybe I did, and I just didn't go into that back room. Ah, sink! Okay, sink. Wash your hands. And the symbol on the wall nearby is... Oh, I get that. That's in the shower. No, the one over the sink is uh, the two offset triangles. Up and down. And take a nap. No, take the things, the food out of the fridge. The one in the fridge is the hourglass. And the one above the bed is the arrows left and right. Oh. Oh, and lore. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural and much more man-made. Intentional. I'd say the lake's not formed. It's designed. And it has a purpose. What does this say? Keep your chin up, says my lozenge driver. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery, ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button? They're in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it! First drawing. Water line. Real caldera is made from a volcano. Lava! Second drawing. Water line. Engineered structure. Strange machines!
Oh, I see. They're diagrams. It's just the labels from a diagram. Creepy. Alright, so it was uh, sink, uh, offset triangles, hourglass triangles, uh, and then it was triangles left and right. They weren't, like, in light paint, either, so it was probably made to be easier. Offset triangles. Uh, hourglass. Where is that? There it is. And, uh, left and right. Yes. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Well, I'm gonna, well, fuck you. I'm taking these bullets and this healing pad. Well, hey, that felt good. So Alan found him some words of power, and uh, Saga got into a couple of these uh, cult stashes. That feels really good for the day. But I'm going to call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake 2. When I... Uh, well, I'm gonna make my way to a save point, I can tell you that, but, uh, other than that, I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> uh. Till then, have yourselves a great day, and stay in the light. <laughs>